the dual light uh, with the stand. They come with uh, bulbs. They're 500 watts each. Put out a lot of heat. They have metal covers. We don't need the metal covers because we're not going to be hot. To do this, you can do it one of two ways. You can go in and cut the wires and splice them with the wire nuts. I found another way of doing it, which was just to go in and loosen up the screws. You can attach the wires that way. That is the method I'm going to show you. So we won't need the wire nuts and we won't need the dikes. Set the light. This is where you can see it. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to take off the cover altogether. If you decide to do that, pay attention to where the two washers go. But in this case, without the cover, it's easier to show you. screw. Take the reflector. In this case, I'm not going to be using a reflector, so we The LEDs don't produce a lot of heat, so we don't have to worry about a lot of high temperature stuff. You remove the two screws to get the socket out. Find that one is white and one is black. On the LEDs, one is white and one is black. Stretch the back just a little bit. Twist them together so they don't cause any frayed wires hanging out. If you loosen up these screws too loose, everything comes apart inside and it's real bare. So what you do is mark your screwdriver a note. And take it no more than one, two, three, four turns. That gives you plenty of room to slide the wire underneath the connector. Just like that. Once you slide it underneath the connector, take your screwdriver and tighten it back up. Do the same thing on the other side, white with white, black with black. It does help if you're ambidextrous. Okay, one, two, three, four turns. It pops it loose. Hold it there and tighten it back up. Make sure there's no wires hanging loose. Tuck. And make sure that you don't have any frayed wires that will attach the case. Take your base unit, your socket. you took out. Always put the last screw in before you tighten the first screw so you don't have a problem where the holes are. Tighten them up. Slip this in. Fits in a little nicely. is I'm using silicone because it may get awfully hot outside. You might have to work outside. Run a bead of silicone on the bottom. Run a bead of silicone on the top. And you're done. Just let it dry. Go ahead and Put the cover back on, put it back together. 
the modification is finished.